It's probably Will Levis. Easily the best division of football, the AFC North. Um, first team, we got the Bolton Ravens here, who were last year 13 and 4. This year, the overrun number is 10 and a half. Of course, this team went to the AFC title game, lost to the Chiefs. I would argue they lost they, they they lost that game more than Chiefs won it. Do you all agree with that, right? Yeah. Because Lamar, I'm Lamar sorry, Jack, but mm-hmm. in the fourth quarter, Lamar threw the game away. Well, also it wasn't his his fault for the first three quarters. He he, he kept them in the game the first three quarters, but I'm sorry, fourth quarter. That fumble though, that fumble that uh it was Zay Flowers. Yeah, yeah. Legere Sneed made it in Oh God, line. God. I mean right on the goal line too. What are you gonna do? Anyway, yep. um uh, uh they added Derrick Henry this, this offseason also as well. Um this is, a, this is an easy over for me, obviously. I mean, we'll see how close you are to the tens, but I, I think that it's an easy over. I mean, Lamar is that damn good. I mean, Lamar is worth eight to ten wins when healthy alone. Um, yeah, Derrick Henry takes the pressure off of him a little bit. I, I like the Ravens this year. I think Ravens are on a red store this year. Give me give me the uh, over. Zach. Oh, give me the over. I think Derrick Henry leads the league in rushing for one. Really? Oh, yes. I think this might become Lamar's best passing season since his first MVP season. Interesting. Well, you're going to take a ton of pressure off him to be running for his life because you're going to worry about getting hit by a train with Derrick Henry. So I think that's a huge plus. Just reducing the wear and tear on Lamar Jackson for one season is a massive Massive thing. This is true. This is true. And like you said, he's good for eight to ten wins on his own. All right, Chris. What you got, buddy? I got them at ten wins, so I'm going under. Um, They're going to make the playoffs. They're not going to win the AFC North. And I think... Homer, 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 Homer. No, it's not true. I think losing Mike McDonald is a huge loss on defense. and And you'll start to see... Even though Ozzie Newsom does a really good job of inf- infusing young talent to go along with their veteran talent, I think you're start to see like how old that defense is, and you lose Patrick Queen. You know, you still got Roquan there, <laughs> but I think last year was an outlier. Like everyone had monster years last year, and I just don't see that this year. I think Derrick Henry is past his prime uh, i i know he's gonna be on like a revenge tour but i just i don't i don't know if lamar can stay healthy for the whole year i i still have him at 10 wins but i i can't see them getting 11 12 or 13 again all right interesting uh take there all right next team here chris for you your Bengals last year nine and eight uh over on number 10 and a half wins obviously joe burrow missed half the year um you know even though the start of the year was still rough too also for them, with him healthy, he played god awful. Yeah, yeah, he did. He did. Um, they they catch on for a little while, and then he got hurt. Um, again, another easy over, over for me. Um, whether or not they win the division, or whether or not they go deep to the playoffs, that's a whole different story. But definitely a ten, a, eleven, six season at least on the table, if not better. Um, easy over for me, Zach. Before I decide, over or under, Chris. Is Jamar Chase going to come back week one? <laughs> is he going to be so, back? It's so interesting because this, this is the same dude who took an entire year off of college instead of playing and then went to the draft. So instead of getting hurt before getting paid. So I get it'll that, be but... interesting. I think. No matter what, if the deal doesn't get done, he's still going to show up. So if the deal doesn't get done, does he show up? And is he good to go week one? Yes. Or is 100%. he good to go like week three, week four? Oh, I mean, everyone's going to be rusty no matter what. But right. he, you got to remember, he's holding in. So he's still there. He's not participating in most stuff, but he's still there. The conditioning's all there, um, but uh, so, the team's going to be full go. Since he, you're really confident he's going to come back, 
I'm going to say they're going to max out at 10 wins. Give me the under. You, you no. took the under on them last year, too. You know that, right, Zach? And didn't it pay off? It did. Well, I mean, Brogan hurt, of course. <laughs> helped, helped your case. I don't know. Jake Browning played pretty freaking good. He did. He did. Had, had and, above, um, above water a little while. That, that's why I have no fear that they're going to hit the over easily. The okay. team's just stacked. This roster, talk about stacked. This I roster agree is stacked. But you have T. Higgins, 1 million percent gone next year, which sucks, but and he is balling out right now. Hey, and hey, Trey hey. Hendrickson, probably 100 percent gone next year, too. So you're losing a lot of talent. This is, you know, my guy said the window's open as long as I'm still playing, but this is one of those true. This year, you can say they are the biggest threat to Patrick Mahomes and KC and the AFC, I'd have to say. Just offense, defense, both sides of the ball, they're good. They lost Brian Callahan, but he was never the play caller. Zach Taylor's always been the play caller. So I have no fear that the offense is going to be clicking on all cylinders. Give me the over this year for sure. Right. All right. Next one here. The Cleveland Browns, last year 11 and 6. This year, overall number is eight and a half wins. This is one of the two, one of the two hardest ones for me to figure out. So I I, I this one behind a curtain here. I have the over here right now. But I'm not confident in that. Because that division, that conference, Deshaun Watson. You know, I, I don't know, man. This is the toughest one for me. This this is a, this is required a schedule look. Um but I, I, right now, I'm over. Well, Zach, where are you on the, on the Browns? Look, I should do two things. One, I should apply the same rule I applied to Aaron Rodgers to Deshaun Watson. But I'm not. I'm going to take the over because Cleveland has an unbelievable run game and an unbelievable defense. Right. So. Yeah. Trump is back, right? Trump is back this year? Yeah, he's back. We'll see how he is, but Jerome Ford's a monster too. Yeah. I'm looking at the schedule. So Cowboys at home. I'm picking to win that game actually. So that's a win. At Jaguars, we'll see. Giants win. At Raiders should be a win. At Commanders. Should be a win. Should be a win. That's one, two, three, four wins there. Okay, Eagles are lost. Bengals. Can you see well, they get a bunch of the Browns make a trouble a year. They 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 beat us every year. Uh, so it's, it's, take a split there. It's five wins. Right. Uh, Baltimore Ravens split, split, split the Ravens. I can see that. That's six wins. Chargers at home win. Yeah. At Saints. Yes. Win. That's eight wins. Steelers split. Yeah. That's nine wins. You you you, you you're right at the over now. Um, which is funny because like the last. Their last four games are as follows. Chiefs at Bengals. Well, at Bengals, we said the split. Dolphins and at Ravens. Yeah, but the Dolphins are at home. And you know how cold it is going to be in Cleveland this year. Yeah, yeah. So 10 wins. That's 10 wins I'm seeing on the board. Over. Max possible, so. Deshaun Watson, just, just be even 50% as good as you were three years ago, and you're fine. Let me tell you something. I have Deshaun Watson at 31. The team is so good. They're still no matter who the fuck you call Joe Flacco back up again. Can Deshaun Watson be at least average? I I don't even think he can be average, but Chris, you told as long as he doesn't lose games for you, that's all. I'll say this much of Deshaun though. This is the first year since all this shit with him. The first training camp, there's like no distractions. It's like okay, fresh, like fresh of the stuff. Off suspension the whole night. Maybe that helps. I don't know. But with Njoku and Cooper and all of it, like that team is just so talented. He definitely, I mean, he has, he has Stefanski is, yeah, he's, oh, he's an amazing good, he's coach. coach. He really is. I'm going to go over. I'm going to go over. All right. We all went over, right? Or, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. I did. Chris, did you go I over, too? I went over, yeah. Okay, cool. All right. Pittsburgh Steelers uh, last year ten and seven, uh, uh, over under this year eight and a half wins. Uh, ten and seven with the second worst quarterback situation in the NFL. 
I, Mike Tomlin, I, I, I know Steelers fans get weird about this stuff with Mike Tomlin and they're tired of mediocrity. But, dude, this, this, this guy has this team competing every year. This team should be in the playoffs. <laughs> and, and yet they are. Um, but I don't know. This, this, this situation with, with Russell Wilson and, and Justin Fields, though, like, I know it's the preseason the only man, but what, what I've watched so far, that is not a good offense right now. The offensive line is brutal. Yeah. And, they and, are trash. and it feels like the streak of better at 500 better might come to end this year, unless they get a spark. I don't, you know, I'm, I'm a big Russell Wilson fan. I really am. But for the first time in his entire career, I'm, I, I think I'm at a place now where I'm like, I think he's done. I want to see, obviously, week one when real football begins. But I'm I, I'm at a place now where I'm, I'm about to accept the fact that he might be done sooner than realized. And I feel like they may pull that hook on him fast. If he's terrible the first couple games of the year, Justin Fields comes in. He's playing week three preseason. Like He's starting the game this week. Who feels? No, Russell Wilson. That's yeah. how bad the offense has been. Yeah, they're playing all the starters. In the last preseason game, that's how bad the offense is. The optics are bad here, man. I'm 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 gonna go under, man. I'm sorry. I, I think I think if anything, the environment of the AFC makes this an under. Yeah. I, I'm uh-huh. wrong. I want Tomlin to continue doing well, man. But I just think I just think everything's caught up to him now. It can be under. Look, I'm rooting for both those quarterbacks, whether it's Phil or Wilson, because I like yeah. them both. Yeah, me too. I would love to see either one lead that team. But I hate that team, and I want to see that team suck so fucking bad. Yes. Oh, God. Fuck the Steelers. <laughs> fuck the Steelers. Thank you. Under. <laughs> fuck the Steelers. You know what's crazy, though? I wouldn't be shocked if the Steelers suck this year and Mike Tomlin gets fired. Dude, if Andy Reid can get fired from the Eagles, anybody can get fired. Yeah, but but the Andy Reid bottomed out in Philadelphia. Number one environment in Philadelphia. They, they'll fire anybody. If, look, Nick Sirianni was in the Super Bowl like literally two months ago, or a little two months ago, and now he's on yeah, but team. but Andy Reid had sustained. The floor was the NFC Championship for him every year, and he Brother, still got fired. But, well, he got fired because he went four and twelve. Like, That's what I'm saying. So this is Pete Mike Tomlin's year where he's just gonna have one terrible year. Mike Tomlin's never bottomed out though. This is the year I'm saying. This is the they, year he's going to bottom they go, out. Bottom, they, think they bottom, bottom, bottom out this year? Like, really? Like and? 4 and 13, 5 and, 5 and 12? I think it's going to be bad. That, that, that? that division is tough, man. I don't know, man. I mean, I still see his team winning seven to eight games. Don't don't forget who the offensive coordinator is now. All the Smith, right? Arthur Jones. Arthur Jones. Wait, Arthur Jones. Arthur Smith, yeah. Arthur, Arthur Smith, Smith. Arthur Smith, yeah. 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 That's true. Who is he's Matt Canada again. Oh God. Yeah. 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 Good 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 point. Who who what did they they blame around? Do you have B. John Robbins in there? He never gets the ball. All their best playmakers never touched the ball last year in Atlanta. That's all everyone ever complained about. What do you think he's gonna do there? And George Pickens not gonna touch the ball. And they're gonna be like, what the fuck are we doing? So what we are we doing? The, we all got the under here, huh? And then oh. Jalen Warren's already going to be out maybe a couple weeks to start the year. Najee definitely ain't that dude. Like, that team's just not set up for success. Like, you got to take an under when, when the division's tough like this. I'm sorry. Yeah. And, and then the division, the conference. The conference. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. We all, we all agree. Under. All right. Finally, the 